Hey everyone, welcome back to the basement. Welcome back to the layout and channel. Today we're gonna to be checking out a new engine to the layout. This is this is one we've reviewed before. It's an 060, but this is a special 060. It's the legacy version. We did Strasburg 31 about a year or so ago, maybe a little more than a year ago. It's kind of all blending together now because we've been able to put so many videos together for, for all of you. But this is a custom Wheeling and Lake Erie 060 that I found on trains.com. That's trains with a Z. Now, we've talked about trains with a Z before, and you can go on to trains.com slash CTAT, and that helps support my channel just by shopping after you've used that URL. Or you can save yourself $10 on a purchase of $50 or more, one time only, by using code CTAT at checkout. That also helps support the channel. But I was perusing trains.com and came across this awesome legacy Wheeling Lake Erie engine and thought it was really unique because there's not many of those out there because they didn't make it. Now, in fact, I didn't even know which one this was until I put it on my layout and had it go over the sensor track and realized it's the Washington Terminal version, that Lionel catalog. And that Washington Terminal version is really, really cool, but it's even neater here that I have a one of one. Now, the person that had this before me did the weathering. They did the custom coal load. They also did some cab curtains as well. Some different crew figures, I believe, are, are in there too. So it's a really unique looking piece. Um, and I, I thought, hey, why not? Let's go ahead and grab that and add it to the collection. So pretty cool, another Wheeling Lake Erie engine. So we're gonna send it around the layout. But before, let's check out some of those fine details that this model has. All right, so now we can have it sitting here on the layout. We can get a good look at this fantastic model. So again, this is an 060. It's gonna be able to navigate those 031 curves pretty easily without too much of an issue. The nice thing about this locomotive is it was it came in about $799. So it was pretty inexpensive from Lionel. And again, it can operate on 031 curves. It's only 17 and an eight inches in length. Because it's so small, it does have a uh, cable uh, wire tether between the tender and the locomotive itself. And that's because the board and the electronics live in the tender because the boiler is so small on this model. Now. This does have a swinging bell, which is a really cool feature that these had. And we highlighted that back when we looked at Strasbourg number 31. But the, as, as I mentioned, this is a custom run that was done, not custom run, but a custom engine that was done. The previous owner that then sold it to trains worked on this. They renumbered it and relettered it for the Wheeling Lake Erie. They weathered it quite a bit and they added a custom coal load. So they you can remove the coal that Lionel puts in the tender and they added a heap of coal make it look a little bit more prototypical for what it would look like after it was just about to leave the shop with a full load of coal for the day so it looks like they used a lot of paints and so forth for their weathering on this locomotive they added some cab curtains as well which is pretty neat so i, I like to pick up things like this from time to time to just continue to basically get better at weathering for myself see what other people do and, and try to emulate some of those things or or not uh and and, and learn what other people do and, and take that to into account as I do some weathering on my own equipment. So you never know what you're going to find on trains.com. And again, you can actually add an item to your wish list. So if you know what you're looking for and it's not available on trains' website, you can create an account if you haven't already and add that item to your wish list. So if you can search for that item, it, you'll maybe find a, a page of one that has sold or if it's sold out, you can then click the heart button to add that item to your wish list. So when it's relisted or something similar is listed, you'll get a notification and can be the first to buy it. So that's always something that I do and I know there's things on my wish list and they're not in stock. The wish list feature is really nice. So with that, let's go ahead and send this model around the layout. Good application, okay to release. Train one, Brightman. We have good set, good release, good continuity on timetable train number one. Over. Uh, that's a Roger. Good set, good release. Good continuity on timetable train number one. Out.
everyone. So that's gonna wrap this one up. Pretty cool engine, uh, you know, like I said, super unique. That coal load's really wild uh, in that really tiny uh, tender that it's got. But anyway, cool locomotive, awesome. Thank you to Trains. And again, if you could go to trains.com slash CTAT, do some shopping, help support the channel. We would greatly appreciate that here. But uh, definitely keep Trains in mind when you're looking for something that's been up, that was out a couple years ago that you can't find new anymore or want some maybe a really unique piece, that might be the stop for you. So thanks for watching this one, guys. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.